Doug Durda of our friends at shouldidrinkthat.com. And yes, you should in most cases. Uh, go check out that podcast. Uh, but So he says, uh, this might be a cool thing to share on the holiday coming up this week. Uh, great Thanksgiving. Listen, StoryCorps is working... Switching and reading at the same time. It works so well. Uh, Story Corps is working with uh, Google to record family stories via a mobile app. So basically a mobile recording tool. And we'll then submit them to the Library of Congress to be archived. And there's a little bit of some videos attached here. Uh, he says he's playing around with this right now to see uh, to, to see if he can uh, get any relatives to try it out over Thanksgiving. And there's a little bit of a video that goes along with this. This is where an engineer comes in handy. Um... Here's what he's found so far. Audio quality is dependent on the quality of your phone, obviously, but you do get to listen to it when you're done. Uh, his droid did a pretty decent job in his office. You'll want a quiet room uh, or car like the first interview I have. he has linked below. You have 45 minutes to record, and they suggest having a 500 megabytes of free space for the interview on your phone. Uh, when you're done, you can take a photo of you and your guest to be added to the archive along with a, giving it a title, description, and tags. Overall, it's a great idea for a spur-of-the-moment interview and or uh, don't have the recording gear like we do. Ancestry allows you to upload interviews, but you need to have the audio file already created. That's pretty cool. I, I tried doing this a while ago, uh, and I actually never did anything with the file. Uh, I, I sat down my grandfather and his brother because they're oh both goodness. like like his brother is like the was is from Lithuania and and my grandfather is the first one that was born here and I'm just like I just want you guys to tell me about Pittsburgh back in the day yeah. they lived on the north side and everything moved over Which to Sheridan um, they were now you know grand, grandfather's out out in uh, Moon Township and just like just getting that early Pittsburgh you know craziness going on right. But I love this because I think that's that's really important to go. Hey, hey, Grandma, tell me about X. You know, tell me about yes. coming over on the boat or whatever the heck you know is your family history. And I love something like this that's completely uh, um, doing. It. And actually, a video that popped up right after this was military voices. Oh wow, that would be cool too. Tremendous. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean we've all had you know wherever your family's from. I've sat there and 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 watched the slideshows of my dad when he was in Germany with the army. You know, um, it'd be great to just capture those kinds of things. And now we can these days and give that tool is just just tremendous. So, so is this? And and I apologize if I missed. It. Is it an actual app? It's an app. Yeah, it is, it is an app that goes along with this. Uh, with it goes along with it. That's that. See, that's awesome because it's going to make it so much easier to do stuff like that. Now, the only other thing I have a question on is since it's uploading to the Library of Congress, I'm guessing they, when you upload it, do they give you kind of a link? I, I'd imagine. I'd imagine. I haven't to gone then, into this. To then be able to go back and kind of keep. I would almost like to do this with a couple, a, a bunch of different family members, and then kind of keep an ongoing list of links. You know, it, it would kind of I could hand down over generations it, it's funny because i was i was uh pontificating on some other entire thing about about making something uh on, on basic sorgonomics last week and i was just like we should have like a family podcast right where it's just like the family talking about things so this kind of lends a little bit to that you know yeah. mm -hmm. hey i just sat down with grandpa and we talked about back in the day and you share it with the family you know, and or, or, or something like that, you know, you get together, maybe the only time a year you get together with the folks is that Thanksgiving, mm. right? So it's like, hey, everybody, you know, pull, pull, uh, you know, and so and so over and say, hey, you know, how's the year been, you know, because the, the big thing I kind of went to was the, um, you know, our family members up in up, up in New York they're the most kind of away from everybody else. And they will always do a Christmas card every year. That's like, how did the kids do? Where are they going? Who's going to college and, and, and done whatever. And it, what family trips that they go on and stuff. And I was like, well, then you can do a podcast too. That does that as well yeah. and keeps in touch with your family. So I mean, it, it is a different uh, uh, kind of way from that, but, but like, I like the idea and I kind of want to do it now <laughs> for my family. And so. the whole, Uploading it to the Library of Congress thing, like imagine a hundred years from now. It's there. It's there. It's, it's there. That's what I've been trying to put a lot of my shows like this. Yeah. I've been uploading a lot of these shows to right. Library of Congress because no matter what, it's there. We are now history. 
Right. We yeah, record and, a thing and, and put there, and somebody can just like we're going and and looking back. And I remember uh, at my old job, we were looking at like old U.S. Steel footage that's common, that's a uh, public domain now, yeah. and you can do whatever you want with that, you know. Right. And somebody can take this and be like, "Oh, look at these jackasses talking about when their phones were actually like <laughs> that huge, yeah. that huge, and then we have like paper phones or whatever." No, or they're just thing. implanted in behind your ear, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or they or that thing. I just watched her over the weekend, and it's just that thing, and you're in the the. the, the I don't want to spoil it. Yeah. <laughs> it gets, it gets were there times in that movie that you were uncomfortable? When they, the kids go into the, the 80s cafe and it's wild gunmen in the corner and they're yeah. like, you mean you have to use your hands? 